bubbles, a universe of delight for most, a world of confinement for an unfortunate few. Christian Fuchs was the star of our spotlight on science film in 1985. Christian, born with no immune system, was one of the very first so-called bubble children to benefit from a bone marrow transplant technique developed at the Weizmann Institute. Even when there is no matched donor available, this life-saving procedure succeeds in replacing defective bone marrow with healthy tissue that produces vital disease-destroying cells. For Christian, his sister Sabina, and the whole Fuchs family of Dusseldorf, West Germany, those traumatic days of Christian's illness are now a thing of the past. Today, over a decade later, Professor Massimo Martelli at the Montelucci Hospital in Perugia, Italy, working closely with Professor Jair Reisner of the Weizmann Institute, is using an improved version of this pioneering technique with mounting success on leukemia patients, where no closely matched donor can be found. These patients are being treated for leukemia. As in the case of bubble children, something has gone wrong with their bone marrow, the body's blood factory. Bone marrow transplants would seem to be the solution, but they're very risky and are usually undertaken only as a last resort. If the marrow is not compatible, the patient's immune system recognizes it as foreign. The result is rejection. The Weizmann scientist hit upon a solution that begins with the donor. Reisner's idea was to use mega doses of marrow-producing stem cells to literally overwhelm the patient's rejection mechanism. The treatment starts here. The donor has received hormones which release large quantities of stem cells into his bloodstream. The blood is then passed through a machine that extracts the stem cells and the rest of the blood is returned to the donor. The cells are then cleansed using a technique Reisner hit upon years ago for bubble children to eliminate the elements that can prove lethal when the match is imperfect. Megadoses of purified marrow-producing cells are then transfused into the patient whose immune system has been knocked out by chemotherapy and radiation. Fausto Rainier was such a patient. Three months later, and still bearing the old scars of the disease, he's back at home with his family. Since 1993, some 100 patients have been treated with the Weizmann-derived method. The current survival rate is almost 50%, a very promising figure considering the severe state of most transplant candidates. Twelve years after treatment, our bubble child Christian Fuchs leads a normal, even active life. A prospect now much closer for many leukemia victims as well, thanks to research at Israel's Weizmann Institute of Science.